Hey guys, Matt from Ultimate City Source. Uh, today, I've got the follow-up video to the video I posted all at the moment, about 30 minutes ago. And someone's already asked for a tutorial on how to get this. Real quick, let me see if I can get this pop up. Yeah. Well, it's like native multitasking for 3.1.2. Um, so I thought I'd give it to you guys. I'll show you how to do it real quick. You can see I've got this up because demo guys are no longer available and I don't want to pay for iDemo as I was looking at earlier. Me, I don't need that anymore. Um, okay, so what we're going to start with, I'm going to move that over. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm going to upload uh, something. Let me see, where is it? Hold on, guys. Give me just a second. Uh, okay, it's right here. Um, you can see, I call it multitasking. I'm not going to include these icons, but I'll include this these modified things that I've done um, and I can build the iPad version if someone wants me to someone wants me to just PM me and say build an iPad version of multitasking uh, and I will so you can see these are the photos for the multitasking that you have to redo uh, first you're going to need to download a Cydia program though first you'll need to go to Cydia and this will be slow guys because this is on my iPhone 2G uh, not my new iPhone 4 so apologize for that but guys it's multitasking so be happy that I'm showing you guys uh, something that's like native multitasking kind of now uh, note guys real quick that this doesn't it has some problems sometimes so don't expect it to work 100% and I don't want you guys to come like you know ranting on about how horrible this is because it's a form of multitasking guys so uh, it's either this and have something like it or not so please guys I really don't want you guys to complain about it please just enjoy this video okay once it's done and loaded you have to go to search and search backgrounder and since this is for 3.0 I'm gonna show you the then you have to download this one backgrounder uh, enables manage and backgrounding if you've never heard of that before um, it's in the feature package section of Cydia after you download that, uh, next thing you want to install is this. Oh, sorry, hold on. I put a T in it. I'm not really sure how to say this either. But um, this one, Circuitos or whatever, uh, custom app switcher. So you're gonna install both of these. Uh, I'll give you a second to install that, or if not, you can pause the video. Okay, so if you haven't paused the video by now. Do so while it downloads. Uh, you can see background disabled. Okay, next thing you're going to need to do is, if you don't already have it, uh, install OpenSSH. I have, so I'm going to go to op or to Cyberduck to SSH into my iPod Touch. Let me see, guys, real quick. It's opening up. Okay, here. I uh, wonder why. Hold on. Okay, um, let's see. There it is. Okay, then you're going to go to Stash, Applications, and then you're going to go to this one, Circuitos, or however you say it. I'm sorry, guys, I don't know how to say it. Um, kind of a complicated name, in my opinion. And then double click on that, and you'll see all these things. Uh, I have not reskinned this one yet, but you can see that there's all these things normally. But I have reskinned all these, so that's the nor that's the normal one. This is the new one that I've redone. And guys, I will uh, release an update. And I'll make a tweet, maybe a video about it. Um, if you're subscribed to me, I'll send out. I think uh, what is it? A uh, big notification about it. But anyways, uh, so before, after, really, before and after. So you can see, really, it's changed. So all you're going to do then, I'll just do it with you guys real quick. You can download this, these pictures I put in the, the I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, let me see, let me get this out of the way. And then, you know, I'll just actually put these all on my desktop. Which is what you can do too if you want to make it just easy. And then, once you've got it all selected, drag it over. Uh, you know, I'll ask you to replace. Uh, go ahead and hit yes, and you'll see it say upload complete. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna 
respring or reboot your iPod or iPhone. I'll do that. I'll just do it with you guys real quick since it's not that hard. In the meanwhile, I'll just put this back in the folder so that I can upload it quickly. And again, guys, uh, this, I'm not guaranteeing that this will always work for you. Uh, it might not. And if not, you might have to just play with some settings for a while. It, that's what I've done. Uh, as I made sure I didn't post the video until I played with some settings. Uh, so, I mean, it's still not working for me. And now I'm just ranting on kind of about it because you can see it's respringing. I can feel my phone vibrating now, meaning it's registering the charge. Which means I can see. Should be coming back up real quick. Okay. I see the saying loading now. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let me open up uh, Screen Splitter again so you guys can see this again. Since I know that Screen Splitter disconnected from it. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry about this, guys. Uh, let's see. It says Screen Splitter should be on. And you can see you can use Safari, obviously, to. You can see my iPhone 2G is right there. Let me just hit select on this. Okay. Uh, so I got it back up. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to settings. Again, it's very slow, just being old. Uh, let's see. You're going to scroll down to this one. Circuit tools, or I'm sorry, guys, I don't know what it is. A uh, dock activation. Uh, let me see. This one I select double press, as that's what it is on iOS 4. Uh, so if you want it to be really true, that's what I'd select. Um, let's see. You don't really need these ones, the three below it. Uh, you don't really need any of these things. Display options you'll need though. And then you want to unselect Mega Dock and unselect Favorites or anything there if it's not selected. Really, guys, you want it to look like this. Uh, transition, slide in, uh, place, bottom, icon width. I think you can just leave the normal height and everything. And then normally a lot of these will be checked off, if not all of them. You want to make sure Springboard not enabled, Springboard not quittable. App animations you can leave on or off. I did not notice a difference. Icons labels, yes. Icon badges, uh, no, you don't need it. Close box, yes and no. Otherwise, you can use gestures for it, but it won't look as really true to life. Uh, become home screen, I would not recommend. Icon, that will be on the springboard. I don't like an icon on my home screen or springboard, so I'm not going to put it on. Lock screen, uh, I wouldn't enable it if I were you. Dimmed window, you definitely want. Free memory, your choice. Background your badge, not really. Uh, and the icon hold time doesn't really matter. So once you put that all together, guys, it, the, here's what it'll look like. So when you double tap the home button, if you set it up to that, you, you'll get this little menu. And then you can just select and unselect things. Um, again, guys, you can mess around with the size of the icon and the text size and everything based on your preferences. Um, until then, please leave a comment with what you think. Uh, do you want more videos like this? Such as um, a video on this kind of the folders like thing for four or for 3.2. Uh, I know that really stinks that background image. Uh, I'm improving that right now. But, anyways, in the meanwhile, this is Matt from Ultimate City Source. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe for more cool tutorials like this. Uh, until then, see you guys.